the man you're going to hear from shortly has been been uh, the face of local sports for about 20 years on uh, on CTV Sports. He uh, sort of pioneered how sports was broadcasted, and he was a face, and he was in covering sports stories for 20 years. So I know the sports uh, media market has changed a lot, and, and uh, Norm's going to talk about that shortly. But in the next hour, or actually lost a few minutes here, in under an hour, you're going to have created your own sports video. All right, so I'll let Norm explain more about that shortly. But we're going to move pretty fast here, and uh, at 1.20, we're going to wrap up, and buses arrive at 1.30, and you're out of here. All right, take it away, Norm. Thank you very much. I'm using the microphone because I've got to save my voice. I have a podcast that I usually do every two days, 30 minutes. Got to make sure this voice is in tip-top shape. Uh, my name is Norman James. Uh, question, who plays high school sports here? You guys see yourself on TV every night? How did that happen, bro? Exactly. Well, three years ago, we lost local TV. Lost local TV, we lost local TV sports. Real tough day for me, it's been a tough time since because I put my heart and soul into doing local television sports for almost 20 years. And most of that time right here in London, Ontario, Canada, which is one of the best sports markets in the country, bar none. Unfortunately, you can't cry over spilled milk for more than a year and a half. So you have to keep on going and keep on trucking and try to develop some new ways that you can continue to do what you love and highlight uh, the amazing community that you do it in. So that is sort of the process that we are up to now. I came here in 2002 to run the sports department and over uh, 15 years we created so much great sports content on the backs of great athletes like yourselves. And it's an honor for me to be here to I don't know, maybe give you a bit of a history lesson as to what I used to do and maybe give you some excitement as to what we can all sort of accomplish together when it comes to you guys being athletes, me being a storyteller, but you guys being the storytellers of your own events and your own endeavors. So what we're going to do over the next, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, we are going to go through the process of how you can make a video. Now, it's easy just to hit the record button and let it fly. But there is a process by which you can make a video that has not only your pretty faces in them, but actually bring to the table amazing information that people who are watching the video can take away with them, and you'll have yourself a great video that you can use to either market yourself, market your event, put onto your social media channel, and it's an amazing thing. Who here has a phone? Are there some people here? Nice pants going. <laughs> I'm talking here and then I hear myself talk. So I'm talking to myself talk. So whoever doesn't have a phone, is that because your parents don't let you have one? You just left it in your bag? Like Everybody has a phone? Or is there, are there people here who are anti-phone? Forget the phone. Ah, <laughs> I like it, I like it. And uh, pretty much everyone has a phone. Um, um, everybody has a phone, has the record function on their phone, right? So who's taken video before? That's it, eh? Well, what we're going to do here is we are going to make a video. We're going to try to do it as expeditiously as possible, and uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to want to make sure that you get... So this group, but they lost in Canada. Norm, enough. This Norm. So we have a, a slideshow presentation that we want to uh, show you. But in the meantime, uh, let me get a uh, show of hands here. Uh, what kind of sports you guys play? Who plays football? Oh, heavy boys in the back. They, they try. They try. Oh, they, yeah. they try. All the legends. Let them know. Who plays basketball? Who right now? Anyone? Basketball. Who plays soccer? I've got some thoughts on high school soccer. I've got some thoughts on high school soccer. It's a pretty, pretty amazing game. Being here honestly brings back a lot of memories for me because I spent my life covering stories that you guys were a part of, and it was such a great thing. And your your parents, hopefully not your grandparents, but your parents would probably be able to tell you if they watch local sports. What kind of amazing sports um, culture? What kind of amazing 
sports department, sports coverage that we were able to do for, for years and years and years. And I can tell you right now, it's my personal mission to bring that back, maybe not on conventional television, but on digital media. Who here has done a marketing video? Anybody? Has anybody done a marketing video? You have? What, what did you end up doing? Uh, I did one for Fanshawe. What's that, brother? Fanshawe. Fanshawe? Yeah. So how did that work? Like, did you did you edit it or did you just use your phone and? No, I did a lot of the uh, editing and the graphics for it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's something that you're into, eh? Not really. <laughs> no. Was it, was it a part of like a detention program? Like you had to do that? To... No, it was. Uh, my dad didn't want to do it. Yeah. That's his job. That's the thing the parents always deflect like his kid, right? <laughs> This is uh, crazy generation. So we have a slideshow for you. We're going to hustle through it real quick. In the meantime, I'm kind of a little warm-up uh, opening act for myself. We won't have Anthony D'Angelo in the lineup for tonight's game at Budweiser Gardens. He was just suspended eight games by the OHL for... All right, so this is me working uh, several years ago. This is part of my audition tape that I put to a YouTube channel. Who has a YouTube channel here? Anybody? So this is me back in the day. Uh, if you ask me, I'm a lot better looking now. Just not as well dressed. So you don't play, right? Verbally abusing one of his own teammates is the second time this season D'Angelo has been suspended for harassing someone. Apparently, D'Angelo will be allowed back on the team when his banishment expires. The Knights opened the bomb doors on the sting last night, 11 up in the final. This is interesting. Matt Ruger, two goals. Nine others individually would score for the Knights, and that is what you call a balanced attack. Despite being shorthanded, expect the Sting to be a motivated group in this back half of the home and home. It goes in moments. So that's uh, some of the stuff I did. Obviously, I did thousands of hours and thousands of um, stories, thousands of items that revolved around focusing the, the lens on people like yourselves, young athletes, people with interest in sports. Unfortunately, you just got a chance to see, um, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds of it. Unfortunately for me, probably fortunately for you. So since I've been out of uh, conventional television, I've been doing a lot of stuff within the social media world, the digital media world, uh, working as a digital media coordinator for God Game, and I, I also run a uh, hockey podcast called The Beast Combo, which uh, allows me to um, reach out to a lot of people, a lot of Leaf fans. Not all necessarily stable, but we're uh, we're working with them as best okay. possible. Okay. So why don't you take a look at some of the social media stuff that I've done, in particular with Sports Express and Got Game, right? Hey guys, Norm James here for Sports Express Network. We're really getting excited for the upcoming Got Game Street Hockey Tournament in Victoria Park, May 18th and 19th. With me is Got Game owner Greg Matheson, and hey, Greg, word on the street is that this is London's biggest outdoor sporting event. It's going to be big. We're continuing the tradition of competing on the streets of Victoria Park. We're going to have hundreds of teams uh, in the corporate division, youth, adult, recreational, competitive. It's going to be a lot of fun. So just street hockey? No, we actually have a lot of stuff happening. There's a poutine festival, there's an eSports zone, we've got a sports and activity expo, and we also just announced we're doing basketball the following weekend. Street basketball. So much stuff going on. Tell us why London is such a great sports community. People may not know, there's over 300,000 local sports fans in the region, and uh, that's a lot of sports fans. Why should families, athletes, businesses get involved? Well, it's a unique event. We're going to have around 20,000 people at the event, so that's a captive audience. They can't go anywhere. They've got games all day, they're watching their kids play, they're watching their husbands and wives play, so it's a cool, cool opportunity to protect uh, someone's brand uh, with a large audience. I want to take an opportunity to get in touch with you. How do I do that? Just go to uh, www.gotgamesports.ca and uh, hook us up and we'll give you a call back. Can't wait for it. The second annual Got Game Street Hockey Tournament in Victoria Park, May 18th and 19th. For Sports Express Network, I'm Norm James. Those are some big heads up there. Wow. We have that slideshow, right? Yeah. <clears throat> So we're picking up uh, a little bit behind here on our slideshow, but this whole thing is about creating video. So let's see the, the slides come in if you can, in the space bar, right? So there are three keys to creating video. Visual, informative, and we want the videos to be brief and impactful. So the video you saw with Greg and I, 
quick. We did everything that we want to see you guys do within this workshop. So remember that video. Remember what you saw and remember these keys because they will help, these keys will help you get through the process of making a video right here and right now. And if you have uh, aspirations to make more videos going forward to help sell yourself or sell your event, whether it's to a company, a corporation, a school, or on social media, we're gonna give you the guidelines of doing so. So visual, informative, brief, and impactful. Let's talk about visual. What's the, what's the whole point of uh, a visual video? Go ahead, Greg. So visuals. We fire up the camera, we're taking a picture of ourselves, we're taking a picture of our friends, we wanna make sure we get that, that video in there, we wanna make it look good. Clearly, it has to be visual, it has to have an impact that way. So we need light, auto iris, exposure. You hit the uh, lens on your camera, you hit the, uh, the, the uh, flexi on your camera, and what that will do is automatically auto iris exposure for you. Um, if you're working indoors, you wanna make sure that you're near light. So if I'm taking a video here, over here, it's gonna look dark. We go underneath the light, clearly the light will be uh, shine much brighter on your faces and project the video to look that much better. Composition. We want the, the screen of your video to be balanced. So if I take a shot of myself or you take a shot of your friends and you got the screen, a nice great screen, uh, iPhone 10, whatever, and the person you're talking to is on the one side of the screen, what's on the rest? You wanna make sure it's balanced and composed. If one person has a dead center of the screen with headroom um, and their upper body fully showing, or if you have two people, you wanna make sure the two of them are balancing out the screen. If you can, use a tripod or a selfie stick, but in this case today, we're gonna to have groups of three working together to make a video. One person will be the producer. We're gonna have um, one person as the interviewer and one person as the interviewee. And the setting. So if we're doing a video about a soccer tournament that we're trying to put together, we probably wanna be at a soccer, sta a soccer stadium or a soccer field. And if we can't be there, we have to be inside because the weather's nasty, we wanna make sure that we reference the setting um, that the video is about. Next slide. So today we're gonna to work on informative videos. There are three different videos that you, you can do right off the top. There are many, many, but three videos that we generally think of are informative videos, where we're giving people information, entertaining videos, where it's one of your boys acting a fool, crazy, show that video, put it out there, you get a million hits on it. But other than just kind of, you know, wasting 20 minutes or 20 seconds watching your buddy trip down the stairs, I mean, it's, I know it's kind of fun. Um, it's entertaining, but it's not necessarily a lot of information. And then inspiring. Maybe the trip down the stairs video is inspiring too. It inspires you to not trip down the stairs like your friend. But in this case, we're gonna talk about informative video. And we're gonna get you guys to create an informative video using these visual steps, the composition, um, and all of that stuff, plus the stuff you saw right off the top of this presentation. So keep these things in mind as we're going forward. An informative video. What kinds of stuff are we going to do in an informative video? What kind of things are we going to talk about? What kind of things do we want to project? What kind of uh, questions do we want to ask? Tell us something interesting. Give us some information that is interesting. Tell us something you think we should know. You're putting together this video that's a marketing video. You're marketing yourself. You're marketing your friends. Tell us something you think we should know because you're, you're making the video. Why waste your time if you don't believe in what you're doing? Third thing, when we're making an informative video, tell us something awesome. Why do a video about something that's boring? Why do it? Why do anything if you don't put your heart into it, you don't care about it? Tell us something interesting, tell us something you think we should know, tell us something awesome. Next slide. So we've covered the fact that our videos need to be visual. That's what a video is. We want the light, we want the composition, Talked about it being informative. We've got a video set up, looks great, so what are you gonna tell us? Give us some information. The third thing is, we don't need to be up there forever. Who here likes to watch videos that just kind of go on and on? Is it, would you prefer, okay, hands, or show of hands, who likes a short video? Who'd rather see a short video over a long video? So if you're watching stuff on YouTube, just uh, viral videos, do you wanna see something that just keeps going on and on and on? Or would you want to just watch it short, concise, make it smart and brief? That's what we're talking about here. The third key of creating videos, let's make our video brief. The visuals are taken care of, we know our information, so let's tailor it so that it is short and sweet to the point and makes an impact. Brief, 
means concise, short, simple. You have all sorts of information you want to put out there in your marketing video, all kinds of, you have all sorts of stuff running through your head. But if you get to it all, if you get to it all, it's gonna take 10 minutes. Narrow down the top three, four points of your marketing video, your event video, go with it. That'll make things a lot more concise and brief. So when you guys are planning out your videos today, I want you guys to consider uh, a few things, a few questions to ask so that when you uh, actually execute your video, it makes it a lot easier. Let's talk about the five W's plus one, five plus one questions to consider. Who's in your video? What's your video about? When does the info, uh, video or event that you're talking about in your video take place? Where does the event take place? Where are you? Why is this all going down? Why do you care? Why should we care? And the plus one is wow. Wow us with your video. Okay, let's uh, we'll go deeper into that, right? All right. So who's in the video? Videos today. Who's in the video? Who's going to be in the video? Well, you, the interviewer, the specific person you want to interview, or someone who represents the event or the topic. You also want to consider who your audience is. Who is the video about? Who are you doing this video for? Next. What? What? What is the video about? We know who's in the video, we know who, who the video is about. What is the video about? <coughs> person, event, theme, or topic. Next. Where is the story you're talking about? So we know who it's about, we know what it's about, where is this happening? Shoot the video on site, as we mentioned, if possible. This is your marketing event video. It's about a soccer tournament, go to the location of the soccer tournament. If you can't do it, obviously you have to reference where this video, um, where you are in this video, and where what the video is about is going to take place. If the setting is important, you have to mention it in the video. Next slide, please. Who, what, where, when does it happen? These are just the basics of information. So if you're doing a marketing video, if you're promoting something, we need to know this stuff. You need to know it first, and then you need to impart that information to us. When does your event happen? You have to make sure this is part of, of your video. If the story is about an event, when does or did it occur? If it's an event that has passed, obviously you want to tell us when the event went down. really important thing. We've got the who, what, when, where, why. Why do you care? If you care so much, tell us why we should care. Why is the event you're talking about important? Why does this event matter? You know it, so you tell us. Next slide, please. And the wow. We went through it, the five Y's, five W's plus one. Tie your video together with something special, an exciting, important piece of information. Leave us something, something very memorable, something that the viewer will be able to take away from the video beyond the X's and O's, the five W's. They know when, where, why, and how this video or this event is taking place. They'll leave them with a wow factor, just you know that last piece of information to say that hey. We've got a big event coming up, big soccer tournament, and oh, by the way, Tory Lane's gonna show up. Oh, wow, everybody like it. Next week, or like Project process. Guys, I wanna just make an announcement. This is a voluntary opportunity to be here. I understand some people maybe not be interested in the topic. So this is a free opportunity for anyone who is on the phone, uh, sleeping, not paying attention to this, you can go watch soccer. I'm totally okay with it. So just, if you don't want to be here, it's no problem. I'm, I actually would prefer to have just the group here that's got, that wants to be part of creating a video. You don't need to create a video, total voluntary. So anyone who doesn't want to be part of it, don't feel any pressure. And actually would prefer if you went to go watch soccer. It's not a bad thing to leave, I don't have a problem. I'd like to keep it, uh, people here, we're going to do groups of three. Uh, some people haven't heard a word. I'd rather you leave. It's okay. There's no wrong, nothing wrong with that. If you want to stay, we're going to work in groups of three. But seriously, not, no problem with anyone leaving. I'd rather prefer you leave if you didn't want to be here. Okay. All 
All right, guys, we're going to have fun making our videos. It's going to be amazing. So let's talk about the project process. So let's plan out our videos. Right now, do it in your head, OK? We're going to plan out the videos, and then we're going to scribble this stuff down in a bit, and we're actually going to make videos. The intro. It's your opening, the setup of your video. Do you, show of hands, who actually watched the video of Greg and I? Show of hands, who knows my name? My name, bro. There you go. I didn't get it when I go home. I come here, I get it now, I feel good. All right, so planning out the video, the intro, the opening, the setup. Of those five W's plus the extra, the wow, the who and the what could be in your intro. Remember this, guys. You might even want to write this down. Because we're going to be making videos. We're going to need to do an intro. We're going to do a body and an extra. The who and the what go into the intro. The body. This is the, the, the meat and potatoes of the video. You saw that video with Greg and I, I came in and said, what's up folks, here's what we're gonna be doing, here's Greg. As soon as I hand it over to Greg and we start talking, that's the body. Who, what, when, where, why. When, where, why in your, bo in your body. When, where, why. Write that down. We're getting real now. And the third thing for the project process and planning out the video, the extra. When you saw Greg and I in that video, I came in and I said, what is up, cats? Here's what we got going on. Here's Greg. Back and forth, back and forth. Greg was done. I did the extra. I said, all right, that's it. We're wrapping up. Don't forget to get your tickets. We out. That's the extra. That's where I can pop in the wow. That's where I pop in that wow. You can pop in the wow anywhere. Wow them right off the top if you want, but that wow, you know, that, that, that slides around. Here's what we need when we're doing our videos, okay? We need to phone with the camera. I know some of you guys have phones, some have phones with cameras, some don't have phones. I respect the people who don't have phones. But for this exercise, we're gonna need phones. And obviously, if we're gonna do a video for ourselves and our friends, I guess we can text it or put it on Google Drive or whatever. But if you actually wanna do a video that's about marketing and you're going to sell yourself and your event, you gotta blast it out there. There's so many videos we see that should not be blasted out there, should not be seen, have, should not see the light of day, should not see, be seen by anybody, but they are. We have videos we care about, we want everybody to see them, so let's get a social media account. So here's what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna move things along. We're gonna create a video. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna try to do this in rapid order, but this is a, a dry run, this is an opportunity to work in a workshop that you can get some skills from to go forward. We're gonna try to expedite this process, and I hope you guys uh, we're able to absorb some of the stuff we talked about, and if you didn't and you need help, I'm around, I can help you. So we're gonna work in a group of three and prepare and create short video. It's gonna take 12 minutes to prepare the video and think about how we wanna put this down. Don't forget, intro, body, extra. 12 minutes to record the video, and six minutes to review the video. Step one, interview one person as an athlete or as a representative of a event. Step two, prepare your video. Step three, do the video interview. Step four, review and give each other feedback. So in groups of three, what we're gonna need to do when we move into groups of three, we're gonna have one person as the producer who's gonna be operating the camera, who's gonna be doing a lot of that visual stuff, and we're gonna have another person as the interviewer and the interviewee. The interviewer and the interviewee will um, be actually there for the important part. And then in terms of making it concise, all three of you guys can come together and produce this thing. Just give, a, give an example here. Let's say that Norm and I are going to do a video together. Norm, do you play a sport? Yes, I do. What do you play? I play bocce ball. Bocce ball. And uh, what do you play with? I play with the London Bocce Ball Bad Boys. Do you have any events coming up? We do. We have the uh, Bocce Ball Bad Boy Extravaganza. It's going to be an amazing thing. So I will, I will then prepare some questions to ask Norm about bocce ball, about his event, work towards using the 5 plus 1, the intro, body, and close. So just throw the questions down, uh, and then you're gonna have a third person that's gonna film me interviewing Norm those questions. 